Hello everyone, in this video let us take a look at this question asked on the community about uh, sending emails, email notifications with attachments. Now, this question is uh, that with the uh, server and uh, Angel is uh, asking here about uh, any plugin to attach files in email notifications. So, there are plugins, there are, there are ways to do it. You can do it using Easy BI, where you can send your dashboard to people on a regular basis with, with your dashboard as an attachment, as a PDF file. But I believe this question is uh, a bit more specific about uh, sending an email with an attachment. Now, sending an email part can be achieved uh, with the help of uh, Scriptna for Jira. I'm not really sure if I covered this in the past, but if not, I will probably make a note of it and I'll probably give you some examples on how to do it, how to send an email using script now. And there are so many use cases where where you you may want to send a custom email because in Jira, we do have, we do have this email notifications. We do have this concept of sending an email and uh, and those notifications are great but sometimes you want your own custom email with your own text, with your own uh, maybe report. And if you look at this particular question, we don't really have a lot of details, but it says here, I need to send an email with report file from an issue. So I guess what Angel is trying to do, Angel is probably trying to send an email with an attachment and that attachment will have data from the issue. So. What you can do, you can actually create maybe a, maybe a text-based file. It could be, I believe, an HTML file. That always works, in my opinion. Uh, and you can populate that particular file with, with the data, which is stored on the issue or issues. You can actually do it from multiple issues. And then you can send an email. And that email can uh, be sent to maybe someone, uh, even outside uh, Jira. That, that, I mean, your recipient need not to be Jira, users and uh, because we are talking about sending a custom email you have full flexibility on what you want to do with that email uh, in i mean you can actually create some kind of a report that you may want to send uh, and not only you can create your own attachment a text based, text based attachment because if you're creating a text based file you don't really need any library uh, to do to basically create uh, a file you can actually just dump everything in a text file and then send it to someone. But using script now, you can also pick up your uh, attachments that are stored on your uh, issue. So that can also be, done, also be done. And by the way, I'm just you know, trying to share with you, with all of you, if you're watching this video, that in case you want to learn script now for Jira on server and even on cloud, to be, to be honest, uh, I do have like two courses that you can do there of course you no know, i mean i'm just using the word course but they're not nothing but a set of videos with code examples so just take a look at uh, i mean go to my website then go to courses and then click on either mastering script no for jira or click on mastering script no for jira cloud and you can basically take a look at these videos i am uh, sure, I did talk about uh, attachments and I'm not really sure if I ever covered email or maybe I did. Yeah, send an email. So I do have this video, send an email where uh, I, I don't really remember if I used a custom code or I used, I believe, uh, I, I think you can also do it using a built-in post function. Um, but you can always, you can always write your own code in case you have to. Uh, and, and you can also go to library.adaptivist.com and you'll find plenty of examples uh, of different things that you can do with Scriptna. You can also search for email. I'm sure you'll find code. Let me just do it very quickly. So if you go to library.adaptivist.com, just search for email. And uh, because we're talking about server, I mean, you do have something on cloud, but we want to do it on server i will get rid of cloud here so we do have the code that we can use to send an email 
and in this in the female uh, in this code basically you can actually also configure uh, to also attach a file that people will receive as, a, as an attachment so i will try to share this code i'll i'll try to find time and uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do it it's very simple to be honest and it is a lot of fun we, we really want to have a lot of fun uh, when we do these things because uh, when you're using a tool like Scriptner, you're actually solving problems. You're actually going beyond the capabilities of what Jira can do. I mean, Jira is a great tool. I love Jira. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you can do a lot of customizations. You can configure it to, uh, to support your processes. But just like any other tool, Jira has uh, some limitations. But those limitations those gaps are filled by apps and the great thing about an app like script runner is that uh, you have endless possibilities i'm not really saying that you go and hack jira and you go and uh, write hundreds of scripts i mean you can but you have to be careful about uh, deciding whether you want to do it using scripting or maybe you want to live with the native functionality or maybe do a bit of scripting to support your process but don't overdo it if you overdo scripting in your Jira instance and uh, and of course you know if because we're talking about script uh, when you when you run code it will uh, consume um, resources on your server and it can also cause performance issues so in my opinion uh, if you have requirement of doing a lot of customizations and you think you need to do scripting of course do take a look at these examples but if you are if you are if you are ever in doubt then do contact a partner then uh, then you will definitely get proper advice maybe talk to adaptivist because this is what they do scriptner is their product so they will definitely be able to help you out with scripting and guide you but in this video of course you know i think uh, we are talking about a lot of things but what I wanted to show you today and what, what I wanted to talk about is uh, sending an email, a custom email using Scriptner with attachments. Yes, it is possible. And you have the code here that you can take a look at. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.